Welcome, Minneapolis Junior Senior High School fans. Back to the gymnasium a final time here in the regular season as we're drawing the regular season to a close tonight. This is Dale Leach and Mike Perry. Scott Oshman will join us shortly as we're preparing for the Lady Lions hosting the Lady Broncos of Russell. Lady Broncos, yeah. And think about that for a second. Uh, big game tonight for the Lady Broncos, Mike. Uh, they're sitting atop the league, uh, a half a game ahead of uh, Southeast of Saline, actually a game ahead. Uh, if Southeast of Saline should beat, uh, who are they playing tonight? They're playing. Republic yeah. County, that's a big game too. It, it, well, actually, either one of those two teams. They're tied at 8-3. Whichever one of those teams wins, if, if Russell should beat us, they've got the league outright. If we beat Russell, then that's going to throw it into a two-way tie for the crown between Russell and either Southeast and Saline. Well, Dale, you know, a couple of years ago when we first saw these girls play, they were uh, – very good uh, when they were freshmen, and uh, we knew that they were going to be good as time moved along. It, I didn't really think they would uh, jump in front of us in the standings and go all the way to the first place, but they are there, and uh, it'll be in a good matchup here tonight. I think it's going to be a heck of a game. Oh, it will be, no doubt. I mean, we beat them 39 to 37 at Russell last month. That was a humdinger of a game. We came out flat in the first quarter and uh, took advantage, I think, in the third quarter. But, but they really were strong inside and beat us up inside in the first half. Uh, our guard play is what won the day for us in the end in the second half because they're, I think both their starting guards fouled out and they, don't, they aren't real deep at the guard position. So that's what did it for the Lady Lions. and. Uh, their hustle and guard play and hopefully some strong shooting is going to have to rule the day for them tonight here against the league leading Lady Broncos from Russell. Well, it would be nice to have a hot shooting night from uh, the perimeter. The girls uh, have the capabilities of knocking down that three. We've got three girls in particular that uh, like to shoot the three. And with our post, which uh, presents a little uh, matchup problem that gets their post out from underneath the basket and gives us a chance on the offensive glass. But when Allie Steinbrock ste steps out beyond the arc and shoots that three ball, it really opens up what's down below, which uh, Baker and uh, Kelsey Page have been operating down low and uh, along with J.C. Crossan. So uh, we have a, a little secret weapon of our own, and uh, Russell's going to have to go out and defend uh, Allie Steinbrock. No doubt about it, and I hope she continues to get more confident in that shot here as the regular season comes to a close and we start to go to some state. Boy, this season has moved right right on by, and uh, Substate, uh, I'm told the uh, boys or uh, the girls will play on Monday. Yes. And then the girls or the boys, boys play on Tuesday. Tuesday. Both, both will host. It's interesting, last night, last week, uh, Mike, Southeast of Saline and Russell played twice uh, on Tuesday and Friday night, or Monday and Friday night, I'm not sure which. First one was at Southeast of Saline. Southeast of Saline won by seven. But at... Russell, Russell won in overtime, 41 to 36. That was the second game in a row that Southeast has lost in overtime. So uh, it's been a hard, they were the league leaders for so long and then they've lost three games in a row. Beloit beat them last night in overtime. It's just, it's really gone south with the Trojans and Southeast of Saline. But uh, we need to see if the Lady Lions can take care of Russell tonight and then Keep our. Where does Beloit play here tonight? Or at tonight? Beloit is uh, entertaining Smith Center. So on the girls' side, that's the top team in Substate. 
they're hosting. Uh, Smith Center Red Lady, the Lady Red are 17 and one. But, uh, the Lady Lions don't really have a thing to gain from tonight uh, other than it'd be nice to tie for second. Uh, it's not gonna improve our standing in the league a whole lot. Well, yeah, it would. We would go from third to second if we, if we beat them. Uh, Substate wise, it will make no difference whatsoever. We're 15 and four and a four seed and the five seed Phillipsburg is 11 and eight. So Phillipsburg will play here next Monday, no matter what. Uh, so the Lady Lions can improve their standing in class in the NCAA. And if they should get all the way to state, it possibly it could help their seeding there too. So we shall have to see. You never know and say, oh, well, this game doesn't mean much. Uh, this is a series, Mike, that we have really dominated in the last several years. Minneapolis leads the series overall 35 to 10. Uh, we've won 16 games in a row over the Lady Broncos. Back on the 26th of January at Russell, we won 39 to 37 in that very close, close game. Amazing what happens in a small town. Again, with a win tonight, Minneapolis could tie for third in the league. With a win tonight for Russell, they could win the league outright. Minneapolis is 15 and four overall, seven and four in the league. Russell is 13 and six overall, but nine <coughs> and two in the league. Point wise, uh, we score 44 points a game where they average 46. A big factor is we only give up 33 points a game, they give up 40. So that could be a real plus for us tonight here as we match up with them again. But as you said earlier, Mike, this is a, this Russell team, we've been watching them the last couple of years, especially last year, we've been really impressed with the young athleticism that they had that uh, they didn't have in the years previous and they really brought it to bear on the forefront this season, especially in the NCAA with this nine and two record, where they can play for the league championship tonight, if they should happen to beat us. Well, we're gonna do all we can to ruin that little party, and that's for sure. Uh, Minneapolis, this is a nice tune-up for Substate, and a good stiff competition here will be provided by the lady Broncos, uh, it was a nail biter out there, and uh, I look for this to be a pretty good game here tonight as Russell leading the league will, uh, has traveled to Minneapolis. We're playing them here on our own gym here in Minneapolis. So home court advantage, we need to hold serve there. And they're gonna be looking for revenge as uh, the last time, so. I think we're gonna have our starting lineups first. Nope, we're gonna have our national anthem. Thanks for getting started without me, guys. Another night of running late. So. You're welcome. Minneapolis Lady Lions in white, Minneapolis Russell in blue. We will have the national anthem, we think, here in a few minutes, but... Uh, oh, no. Starting lineups. Starting lineups. <laughs> We get fooled. For Russell, the visitor is in blue. Number 12, Madison Bigley, 5'8", sophomore. Get used to that day. For Minneapolis point guard, Ashlyn Macy. For Russell, 5'7", senior. Number 15, Peyton Wise. The only senior starting, the only senior on the team, actually, for Minneapolis. At the quick forward, Riley Baker. For the Lady Broncos, number 21, Kelly Rourke, Rourke a 5'10 junior, and she's all of 5'10, that's for sure. She's got some uh, length there, too. For Minneapolis at post, Allie Steinbrock. For Russell, by five junior, Caitlin Walker gets a start at the quick board. For Minneapolis, starting 
senior. Anna Giles gets the start. Senior night. I about that. And number 32, I didn't have her down. They gave me the wrong numbers. Anna Schulte, Schulte a freshman. 5'9", freshman, gets wow. a nod at the power forward position. Well, they are For young. Minneapolis, Kylie Gregg. Well, that is the a program senior. that is growing in uh, Russell. They've got a young squad, and uh, there's going to be some talent next year in the NCKL as far as Beloit having a lot of their returns back, us having a lot of returns back, and Russell having. <laughs> Southeast Saline going to lose a few people, but they'll have they'll a lot have, back, too. That will be one heck of a girls league next year. So as It'll be said, stacked at the top, won't it? So, senior night. I forgot all about senior night tonight. And so. evidently we'll have the national anthem at the boys' contest. We're getting ready for a tip-off here. We're 10 seconds away from the start of this contest. Russell Lady Broncos, as we mentioned, 9-2 and two at the top of the league. And it'd be nice to take them down a notch here as Minneapolis clipped them out at Russell by two earlier in the year. And we'll see if we can maintain that intensity here, here tonight. Tip is controlled by Russell. Russell will be playing a one-guard offense here. Man-to-man -man defense by Minneapolis, so it's a motion offense, and she walks as she slides to a stop. First turnover of the <laughs> ball game as Caitlin Walker couldn't find the brakes, and Minneapolis has the ball right back. Man-to-man -man defense by Russell. Kylie Gregg, dribble drive into the paint, backs it right back out. Now the pass on the wing, Macy. Back out front, it goes to Kylie Gregg. Anna Giles with the ball. Gets it back to Macy. They try throwing over the top, and the ball is intercepted by Peyton Wise. And she steps on the inbounds line. It will be Minneapolis ball. She could have got pushed just a little. I didn't see it that way, but maybe. Minneapolis plays it in. Macy, three-point shot on its way off the rim, no good. Baker with the rebound on the backside, gets it right back out to Emma Giles. We nice reset. rebound there by Baker. We reset the offense. Greg clear out on top. Now Russell still in that 2-3 zone after that inbounds. Play in the reach-in foul is whistled on number 21, 24, excuse me, that's Caitlin Walker. Kelsey Page. Page checks in. In, 6.59 left. First quarter, we're just underway, no, no score. Drag on the left wing. Page, long three-pointer on its way, back rim, no good. Baker has a hand on it, tips it out, and it's controlled by Russell. Walker has it, she has, is stripped, coming down. Shot on the baseline, no good. And Rourke has the rebound stick back, and she is fouled. She'll head to the free throw line for a two-shot foul. I didn't take all. And the foul is on <laughs> Kelsey, Kelsey Page. Page. If we don't get rebounding position, we won't win many of these battles tonight. Rourke they are size. on the boards. Free throw, front ram, no good. Very flat and off the front of the rim. And she'll have the second shot here. No score in this contest. Kelly Rourke, 5'10", junior. That's flat, but it goes in. one nothing, Lady Bronquettes. Right wing, Baker. Out front it goes. Page has it. Motion offense for Minneapolis. Looking inside, Steinbrock gets a hand on it, but it goes out of bounds. Full court pressure. Being applied here by Minneapolis, 2-2-1. Two, two, Last time we played them, uh, we did not have Riley Baker. They That's throw right. it over the top that. as Bigley has it on the right wing, gets it out front to Walker. Shot in and out, no good. And Kylie Gregg has the rebound for Minneapolis. 
That three ball just rattled in and out. Macy has it top of the circle. Picks up That's her dribble, gives it off to Greg. Steinbrock, as Rourke comes out to play her. Baker has a good look from the top of the key. Almost has the ball tipped away by Russell. Defender, as Schulte is right there, and we're whistled with a walk. She slides. So. Well, the floor could be slick. We've had two girls slide now. Russell has it in the backcourt. Wise has it for the Lady Broncos. They clear the timeline. Over the top it goes to Schulte. Shot baseline way over everything. And the stick back and rebound, and she does it again. That's Bigley working hard on the backside, 5'8", sophomore. Just cleaned up over there with two offensive rebounds and the stick back. The shot goes in, and she is fouled. The foul is on, guess who? Kelsey Page. <clears throat> two fouls in two minutes. Free throw, no good. Baker has it, and we get a buzzer. As we had a... Uh, shouldn't have had a buzzer on Yeah, that we one. had a substitution. We should have played her in before should've the shot, and we didn't exactly. get that, so. Referees are asleep at the wheel. Baker on the right wing, now crossing in the contest for Minneapolis. Back to Riley Baker. Dribble drive in the paint, kicks it out to Macy. Baseline drive shot is blocked by Walker. Now she has it and they're on the move. And blocking foul on Greg as Schulte catches the ball in midair. She's 5'9", freshman, gets the start. And she is all of 5'9". Shot from the outside is good. Three point shot by Walker. And it is six nothing, Russell. Greg out front to Crossan. Macy has it on the left wing. You can tell why these girls are nine and two. Yeah. They are good. They are solid. When you got that kind of height, Steinbrock up and under a shot off the glass, no good, too hard. Nice up and under though. She had good move, good movement on that, just couldn't get her to fall. Walker has it. They tried to throw it inside, now Greg has it. And the reach in foul on Wise as she had the turnover at the other end. They beat us down the court. First personal foul on Russell. Second. Second. Switched the light on me now, finally. Crossing, skip pass to Macy. Now Steinbrock has a look at the three, can't pull the trigger, no space, as Beagley is right out on her. Macy left wing, it's a 2-3 zone by Russell. Somebody is going to have to shoot from the outside. They're a little bit too long for us to shoot over the top down low, but there Crossan does and is fouled by number 21, Kelly Rourke with the first personal foul for Rourke. That's the third team foul for Russell and J.C. Crossan to the free throw line to shoot two. First throw on its way, it's good. We on, we're on the board. Finally, almost four minutes gone. Our defense is gonna have to provide what we need here tonight as Russell is too good. Six to two, Lady Broncos. Walker in the backcourt, clears Walker. the timeline by Macy. Walker, a good ball handler there. She drives all oh, nice pass down there to Wise. Three second call and Wise could not pull the trigger as she had it down on the low block in the paint. Caitlin Walker handles the floor very well, Mike. Six to two, Russell. Steinbrock has it. Greg puts it on the floor, goes in and has her shot blocked by Schulte, but she is fouled. Got her with the body. She'll go to the free throw line to shoot two. Nice job by Kyla Gregg to see the floor right there and take it around the left-hand side. 
He's at the line for two. First throw on its way. It is no good. But if you can't hit your free throws, it doesn't do any good to get to the line. And one of the sore spots of this Lady Lions team is free throw shooting. There are a few girls above 55, 60%, but most of them are below 50%. The big rebound there by Schulte. Russell has it bigly on the right wing. Minneapolis still in a man to man. Out front goes to Wise. Walker looking for it. Now has it in the paint. Turn around, left hand, or right hand, baby hook is no good. Minneapolis played that well. And Ashley Macy comes up with the loose ball. Baker, right baseline. Guarded by Schulte. Now Steinbrock with Rourke in her face, crossing all the way in. The reach in foul by Weiss. Nice move by JC Crossan, and it gets Russell out of position, and all they could do is reach in and hold. And that is Weiss' second personal foul as Casey Nuss. 5-4 sophomore comes in. In it goes to Steinbrock and she is mugged. It's either Schulte or Rourke, one or the other. It is Schulte. Schultz. Is it Schulte or Schultz? Well, they introduced her as Schulte, but you can call it Schultz if you want to. Sixth team foul. Free throw is good. Number 14, Brooklyn side bottom into the contest. 6-3, Russell, Minneapolis gaining a little ground here at the free throw line. Allie Steinbrock, second throw on its way. It is good also. One possession ball game now. Russell with the ball in the backcourt. Now the double team, Crossing comes up, their breaker comes up quickly to help out. Side bottom's pass is kicked out of bounds by Rourke. Nice job on the defensive side by Stein, <coughs> Steinbrock down there. 2.42 left in the first quarter. Crossan has the ball, now Steinbrock. Baker has a look at a three. Greg, if she had some space, would pull the trigger. Boy, they're right out on her. Now Baker has a shot from the baseline. Shot no good. Crossan with the rebound and stick back. And that's what it takes, some hustle. Tied up at six, Lady Lions tied up. And we will have a timeout, 30 second, called by the Lady Lions. We will take one with them. We're knotted up at six, 2.18 left in the first. You're listening to 9kna.com as well as Eagle Communication Channel 2. A car accident, high winds damaged your property? To protect you, the Scott Osherman Agency is the place to go. American Family Insurance has been providing security and peace of mind for over 80 years. Call the Scott Osherman Agency in Minneapolis, your American Family Insurance agent. For some reason, I can't get used to that. Channel 2. <laughs> I was with Channel 13 or Channel, channel 8. 8. Yeah. yeah, I second guess myself every time I get ready to say something. And occasionally, I do screw up, so. Lady Lions pick up a full court press here, Mike. As usual, all year long we have applied that full court pressure. Oh, and you know, wow. Scott, sometimes it does do. And there's a walk on Rourke. She could not put the brakes on as she got to the basket. Boy, they flew by on that one, though. They broke the press easily on the right hand side. Now, Minneapolis on the offense. It's all tied up at six apiece. Just a little bit of a push by Caitlin Walker as she bumped into Ashlyn Macy and Ashlyn pretty slight. Boy, we're in the one and one already. Might have been a little bit of a acting move, but uh, nice job on Ashlyn's part to draw that foul. Six to six, Walker's second personal foul. Two minutes, six seconds left first quarter, and uh, Russell, a little bit of foul trouble already early in this ball game. Free throw, good. 
Seven points on seven free throws, guys. And that's what I probably needed to say was how bad a free throw shooting team we are, and all of a sudden we hit four or five in a uh, row. We, huh? uh, we've got a field goal in there. <laughs> oh, did we? Yeah, we got all a right. field goal in there. So. Hallie hit two in a row. Now Ashland gets right after that loose ball, and side bottom has it, gets it off to Rourke. Now Wise, or Walker has it. Back to side bottom, long three-pointer off the front of the rim, no good. And reach-in foul is whistled on Emma Giles as Casey Nuss has that long rebound. Just out of position on that, leading lines with a one-point lead, seven to six. Nuss to play it in. Walker, dribble drive, shot, no good. And just ball altered a little bit by, by ball Mason. Is Picked up by Ashlyn Macy. Three-point shot by Steinbrock, rimming in. That's a way to use the rim on a three-pointer. Drains it from the outside. And there it is, yes. An offensive push. Play. This good crowd ball. is going nuts. Well, when the arm flew out, that referee looked at this one yeah. for help, and he, yes, uh, he could tell the arm came out and the push off. That was a good call, I thought, from my vantage point. Little Michael Jordan separation there. That's Caitlin Walker's third personal foul here in the first quarter. Crossan has it. Now Macy. Another freshman checking in for Russell. That's uh, Alex Patachik. Emma has it and it's taken away. As Patachik. If it's anything like the ones I know, it's Patacek, but I could be wrong. I can't imagine any other way to pronounce it. <laughs> <laughs> Minneapolis has possession here. A minute 10 left, first quarter. Baker with the ball. Dribble drive by Crossan. Tries to get it down low to Steinbrock, and it's picked off by Rourke. Ness has the ball. Gets it over to Gridley in the contest. Entry pass is tipped away and right off the snaws of Baker, but tipped out of there by Cross, and it will be Russell Ball to play in. 45 seconds left, first quarter. Minneapolis with a 10 6 lead here. Gridley to play it in. Looking in there, it's tipped. Ooh, oh, yeah, it was. she didn't step in bounds. No, that's she a, did not. That's a, well, tipped Allie. out of there by Steinbrock, yeah. and yeah. it hit the girl out of bounds. Mm -hmm. She was in play, but wrong place, wrong time. Exactly. Minneapolis ball, and we'll see if we can work this. Uh, actually, it's a 1-3-1 one, one zone defense for a last second shot. That's what it takes, spacing and somebody in the high post, Baker goes to get it. Now they point up on the wing. Boy, we got a... Got away with one there. Yep. Steinbrock, top of the key, and that's a walk every time. If you drag that pivot foot, they usually Hot will see it. Yeah. And it was evident there. Turnover gives it right back to Russell with 15 to shoot here in the first quarter. Dodchek, stutter step, dribble, dribble drive, is, picks up her dribble. Now the, her pass is intercepted by Macy. Gets it off to Baker. She has time. Nice pass to Emma Giles. Shot. Oh, almost, Emma. Oh, and the step back by Baker. Nice, nice did not go though. in, yeah. and that's the way the first quarter will wow. end. 10 to 6. Wow. We good. had the last second shot. Yeah, good hustle down the floor by Emma Childs to run the floor. She had an out second look and just off the front rim. Off the left, she used the board, Dale. She yes, she board. did. So we'll take a break. Lady Lions had 10 in the quarter with a 10-0 run. Had the lead 10 to six. You're listening to 910Canada.com as well as the Eagle Communication Channel 2. CNR Plating and Kevin's crew would like to take this time to thank their many friends and customers for making their business what it is today. CNR Plating, a Lions sports backer, wants to wish the Minneapolis Lions a great season. 
CNR Plating, Alliance Sports Backer. The State Bank of Delphus and Glasgow and the Ottawa County Bank in Minneapolis are locally owned community banks committed to making your banking experience as easy and personal as possible. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. That was a 10 hour run, the yeah. Lions, wasn't it? 10 hour run with about four minutes. It's good grief, score. Scott. They played 10 girls and it's just the first quarter. Oh, uh, uh, you know, have they? Five, nine girls. Got them down for nine. Oh, I got 10. You can be right. I could have missed one in there, so. <laughs> now let's not argue, guys. Well, I'm trying to make sure that I'm right. <laughs> well, you can be right if you want to be right. <laughs> Cameron, Macy with talking. the ball. 1-3-1 one, one zone. Minneapolis going to have to find a way, and that's a good way. Nice pass down low. They find Kelsey Page headed to the basket. And boy, pass. we threaded the needle there as Macy finds a very small opening. Rourke all the way in for the layup. Should have let her go. Uh, the reach in foul, and she's going to get the and one. They're going to count that basket. That a, that's a quick move down the floor by Rourke as she takes it all the way to the hole. Wow. They had numbers, a two on one, and JC was the only one back on defense. Free throw by Rourke is good. Scott, either your mic is turned around or you need to turn yourself up. Is that better? Yep. Is it me? Baker has the ball. Swing pass around the horn to Macy. Entry pass to Crossan. Her shot is partially blocked. And it will be Minneapolis ball to play in. They double teamed her in a hurry. Page to play it in. 2-3 zone now as they double or er, zone up. Shot by Baker, no good. And Bigley has the rebound for Russell. Oh, there's your 10. Nuss has the ball, has it tipped away from Macy. Nice job by Macy right there. <clears throat> I, I'm amazed at how many young players they got here, Mike. Uh, sophomores, freshmen, a trickle amount of juniors, and one senior. One senior. Wise has the ball out front, gets it off to Nuss. Looking for Rourke, Rourke has it. Right wing, the entry pass to Bigley's tipped away, and she is mugging Crossan. Jump ball. I know jump it's not back. really a jump <laughs> when you, you're over the shoulder like that. <laughs> Bigley's first personal foul. That's Russell's ninth team foul here in the first half as Crossan will go to the free throw line for a one and one. First throw up and in. J.C. Crossan gets the first of the one and one. Second free throw is oh, in and out. out. Wow. <clears throat> that was down and it popped right back out. Rourke gets it off to Bigley. They're still in the backcourt. Baker with good pressure. They clear the timeline. Bigley can dribble too. Yes, she can. Beagley's a slasher. Got the ball down low as Schulte gets in there. Bigley. Rourke has it on the right wing. They're a little bit out of sorts on offense due to the number of subs. Ball is tipped out of there and jump ball is called. As Schulte reaches right in there and ties her up. Possession arrow to Russell, and they'll play it in. Ness has it on the right wing. Dribble drive in. Try to get it down low. Rourke, I believe, had a hand on it also. Yes. It will be awarded to Minneapolis. 13-9, Minneapolis by four. 6.08 left first half. Drag on the left wing. We're going to try and pull him. There we go again. Nice pass over the top. And Kelsey Page with the left hand. Two beautiful assists by Ashland Macy. And a steal there by Ashland. Nice job. That gets it back to Greg. Now back to Macy. 
picks up her dribble. Now Greg sets the offense for Minneapolis. Let's see if we can get Paige cutting to the basket again through this 1-3-1 zone. Baker on the backside shot, good. She can elevate. They've found a means in which to get the ball down on the low block yeah. with this 1-3-1, one, one, and Russell not able to, they don't have any help defense down no. there, and we've had three easy baskets Three down easy there. baskets, great look, great passing wise. Interesting stat though, 12 turnovers for Russell. Wow. So Lady Lions defensive wise have done a great job of <coughs> forcing the turnovers and the Russell Broncos call a 30 second timeout uh, to uh, try to get their team back in line. But ninth, 17 to nine, Lady Lions with the with a uh, eight point lead here at the 527. Yeah, I walked in the gym here tonight and uh, I haven't seen a fellow classmate for 39 years and he was sitting right there. I recognize his face right off the bat. He's a school teacher out at Russell. Uh, I'll be darned. I haven't seen him in 39 years. Uh, Terry Foster. Well, one of you needs to go to the reunions anyway, huh? <laughs> There's a walk. There's a oh, walk. A good tie up instead. Hey, we'll take it. <clears throat> it's another turnover. Allie Steinbrock back in the contest. Baker gets a breather. And so far, Minneapolis's full court pressure is paying some dividends here. Forced to turn over there. Steinbrock has a look at a three. Gets it right back out on top as Greg. Resets it. They've got out of that 1 3 1 zone and gone to the 2 3 zone. Oh. We throw it away. I would, uh, no, I'm not going to coach. <laughs> That's a mistake a senior shouldn't be making. I'm just going to say that. The Tachi checks back in for Casey Nuss. Oh, just scared her just no. enough. And yeah, it was. Was it? Ball she was in, in play, yeah. Yeah, she had in the front court, so you're right. And Russell gets the ball right back. Patacek on the move down the sideline is mugged by Macy. It's kicked out of bounds by Ashland. Might have been a foul there, I don't know. Yeah. Might have? <laughs> Shoulda, coulda, woulda. <laughs> Usually called. when you run into them like that, they wasn't, typically call a foul. Wasn't called anyway. Rourke with the ball out on the wing. Not particularly a good ball handler. Gets it off to a Weiss. Now back out front. Schulte drives all the way in. Good. Crossin very smart. No, not to go uh, get her actually, that time. And Kelsey Page very smart as well. Kel Kelsey uh, easily could have gotten caught with his third personal foul. Kelsey, she backed off it as well. Man-to-man -man defense now as Russell changing up the defense. That was a walk, but no call. Now we got a good look. Steinbrock, front ram, no good. Oh my, we missed that. Macy has the loose carom. Boy, we had a shot point blank and it goes off the rim. Macy quick to get in there for that loose ball. And looky there, Peyton Wise picks up her third personal foul. We might have uh, got away with another foul down there, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Macy to the free throw line to shoot two here. Free throw, no good. Flatten off the back of the rim on the first one. 17 to 11, 420 left in the second quarter. Back rim and a little flat. Ashlyn, give me just a little arch, please. Thank you. And she abides and makes it. Nice job, Ashlyn Macy. Tachek with the left hand dribble clears the timeline. Pretty good little guard. She'll play some minutes next year, won't she? Oh yeah. Gonna have to tonight with the teammates in foul trouble. Schulte, down low goes to Rourke. Shot, no good. And our one of our big rebounders, Macy, pulls down another one on the back side. She positions herself so well for a lot of rebounds for a point guard. Now down low, Page shot blocked by Wise. And that's tipped to the backcourt by Russell. It will not be a backcourt. Nice job by Peyton Wise in the block. She's playing with three fouls. And yes, sir. Still had a nice block on that one. Nice job by the senior. Macy gets it off to Cross and on the right wing. Down the lane she goes. Shot good. Casey Cross and with a one hand runner in the paint as Schulte was left 
in her tracks. Zacek gets it off to Rourke. Or Bigley, excuse me, all the way around. And there's a nice block shot by Crossan. Now Greg has it. We have numbers, ah, and we throw it away hard. again. Darn it. Too hard over the top. That's where you should have just kind of driven down. Saw the opening and just couldn't try quite get it to her. Good, good hustle. Yes. Unfortunately. Not good idea, much. but it just did not pan out that time. 20 to 11. Patacek double teamed in the backcourt. Yep, I agree. As she's had that three times, she, she took pushed down off. the course pushing off. And uh, that's one of those things that uh, eventually you're going to get called with it, and she did on that one. I know the Russell fans aren't liking it, but. Uh, Player control uh, player foul. Control. And Minneapolis back with possession. Crossing left wing. Steinbrock guarded by Rourke way out on top. Baker. Now off to Greg, dribble drive and the reach in foul by Bigley as it's two on Bigley. Kylie went right around her. Kylie to the free throw line to shoot two here. Minneapolis in the double bonus. 2.45, let's go in the second quarter, 20 to 11. Lady Lions with the lead. <clears throat> Come on, Kylie, let's get them both here. First one up and in. Keep talking to him, Mike. Talk to her, Mike. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's the last two you've talked in. Has a really nice stroke that time by Greg, and if she does that one more time, I think we'll have two. She does. 22-11, Minneapolis by 11, and playing some pretty good defense here in the first half. Russell, a little bit of foul trouble. They are a deep team, yes, but uh, they're prominent players in trouble with two of them with three personal fouls. Bigley way out on top. Now we got a three second call on Schulte. 15th turnover, guys. That's uncharacteristic of a team that's nine and two in the league, in my opinion, but we're forcing a few of those. Man to man defense now by Russell as they got to come get us. Baker has a look at the three and the quick step. Of course, that's our 10. So we've got 10 turnovers as well, so. Quick first step, Baker doesn't get the ball on the floor in time, and it is a walk. Wise in the backcourt. Guarded by Greg. Nice help defense by Macy. Patacek gets it down low to Schulte, but it goes off her hand and out of bounds. Good ball movement there. They uh, had a- Good idea, yeah. Uh, had her open underneath the basket. That's that dribble penetration that uh, a lot of times you will get somebody that cuts open on that, and they did on that one. Crossing with a ball above her head, looks down low, now guarded closely by Schulte. Macy out front, it goes to Baker. Steinbrock looking for Greg. Now Crossing has a look. Minneapolis in no hurry. Would like to run just a little more clock. Greg has a shot off the front of the rim, and Crossing has the rebound and takes an extra step as she goes back up with it. Turnover Minneapolis. Bigley will play it in. Minneapolis still in the full court pressure. They throw nice. over the top. Nice break there by the Broncos. There's a walk. In close, the shot by Rourke is up and in. 22 to 13, Lady Lions with the lead. Baker gets it back out front to Greg. Steinbrock, three pointer off the front of the rim, no good. And Macy has the long carom, the entry pass to Cross. And now back to Baker. Shot good. Nice pass. Nice ball movement, Mike. They had great ball movement on that, and they finished it nicely. Boy, they get bailed out. It was almost a five second call. The coach calls a 30 second timeout. You're right, Scott. Great Minneapolis. Ball with the extra pass there. And as they came to double team us, we were wide open on the yeah, back side. Casey Crossan had it, had double team Baker cut into the hole. And Riley almost so open that she front rimmed it off the, uh, off the uh, glass, but it bounces in. We take the 24 to 13 lead. Lady Lions had the lead 24, 13, minute three. We'll keep it here as the Broncos have the 30 second timeout. And Dale, a uh, uh, good, uh, 
uh, I should say, a good quarter and a half. Yeah, <laughs> started pretty slow. Started pretty slow, but they have uh, they have been strong since that point. After that slow start, I was beginning to think uh, Russell was going to run away and hide in this ball game. Minneapolis was going to have nothing to do with that, as we have flat put some pressure on them and create a lot of turnovers. And we've got 24 points in the first half. That's a good deal for this game. Full court press picked up. Wise has it. Dacic on the right wing, dribble drive, gets it off to Schulte. Now down low, Wise shot up. No good. But she is hacked. Foul is on Ashley Macy. That's her first. Weiss goes to the free throw line for a two shot foul here. Sixth team foul on Minneapolis. Free throw is good. And she'll get another here. Under a minute left in the first half. Free throw is good. And now their full court pressure. Get it off to Macy. Tachek tries to stop her, but can't. Baker out front to Steinbrock. Now Greg. Beagley way out on her. Steinbrock. All the way in she goes. Shot, no good. Bigley with the rebound. Now they throw over the top. Wise has it. Oh, and the last one to touch it was Wise as Baker with the quick hands tipped it off her leg. And it goes out of bounds. That's why there's a referee standing down there because he is right on top of the play. 20 to shoot. We have numbers, Macy all the way in, layup, good. Wow, and that's four on Peyton Wise right there. Wow, that is huge as Ashlyn Macy takes it straight in. Russell has to feel very snake bit right now, guys. All the fouls they've been getting this half. Oh, yeah. Wise with four personal oh fouls. God. Boy, I don't know too many coaches that would let that happen. Scott. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, Ashland will get the and one. No good. Rourke has the rebound, and we are back to an 11-point lead. This is the key right here. Don't let them get a shot off with six seconds left, and they've got a look right there. Bigley all the way in. Now Patacek back to Bigley. Shot. Didn't draw iron. The good defense. Bigley not with a very good look, but did get the shot off at the buzzer. And that's the way the first half will end. Minneapolis 26 and the Lady Broncos 15. Fantastic defense in the first half. Yeah. <clears throat> Most definitely as the Lady Lions take the lead at the half, 26 to 15. And it's been the Lady Lions as <clears throat> they went on that 10-0 run to end the first quarter to take the lead. And they've kept it going here as we uh, are at halftime. We'll take a break and we'll be back with some stats. You're listening to 910Canada.com as well as Eagle Communication Channel 2. Welcome back to Minneapolis, Kansas, as Minneapolis Lady Lions had the lead 26 to 15 at the end of the first half, and uh, about two minutes away from the start of the second half, and the Russell Bronco ladies aren't even out yet. Um, they, uh, I'm sure their coach is really working on them. They have really got some foul issues. I was talking to a Russell fan, a friend of mine, and uh, they are they're really unhappy about the officiating. And they said it's uh, it's one-sided and everything else. But uh, well, I, I don't know, but I yeah. particularly agree with that. No. But it has not gone well for. It has not gone well for. But I, if it was the same way, if it was the other side, I'm sure we'd feel. We'd be feeling the same way. Yeah. Well, a lot of their fouls. Uh, you know, Minneapolis is buying. They're reaching out and grabbing. They're trying to hold. Uh, we're beating them. Yeah. This off the, the ball real bad and they're the just they're not moving their feet. Thing that happened in the second quarter, third, and fourth quarter <laughs> when we played them at Russell. When well, we played them at Russell. Yeah. Our quickness just got the better of them. Yeah. yeah. I love quickness. Yes, I do too. Yeah, yes. and they had uh they had uh oh well Prester fouled out and so did Walker uh in that first matchup against them. Now let's run through some point scores real quick here. 
for the Russell Broncos. Um, they've got uh, Peyton Wise with two, uh, Schultz, Schultz or Schulte with two, uh, Caitlin Walker with three, and Madison Beagley with two, and Kelly Rourke with six. Beagley beat us bad last time, guys. 19 points the first time we met him. For the Minneapolis Lady Lions, very balanced scoring. I like this, considering Kelsey Page is on the bench with two fouls. Uh, Kel Kyler Gregg with two, uh, Kelsey Page with four, Ashlyn Macy with four, Riley Bacon with four, Allie Steinbrock with five, and J.C. Crossan with seven. The only one in foul trouble is Kelsey Page, and she's got two. You look down on the other side, the Russell Lady Broncos, uh, Peyton Wise, four fouls, Caitlin Walker with three, and then Madison Beagley with two, Jane Schultz with two, uh, Patachik with one, and Rourke with one. It's even more amazing, Scott. Start They're going to start her in the second half here. And Pretty unusual, but uh, maybe she can play the rest of the way with four personal fouls. So the Russell Broncos will have the ball to start the second half, and and they they look a little bit stunned yeah. coming out of the locker. Well, Dwayne's pronounced her name her name Schulte, so nice drive right, right on there. in, yeah. and easy layup by Schulte. She's nice never been as good as a freshman as Rourke was when she was a freshman last you year. Bet. First basket of the second half, Russell, and the push off by Beagley. Maybe three on Beagley. I said Rourke, I meant Beagley last year as a freshman. That one was kind of touchy. Yeah. Yeah. Paige will play it in. Back to Greg in the backcourt. Kind of worried about uh, the boys' game if. Uh, uh, we throw it away. If uh, if we're that, if they're that, because we do a yeah. lot of hand checking on the boys' side. So, Greg has three passes that have just not been good, and you don't expect that from one of your senior leaders. Another turnover. Give the ball right back to Russell, but a quick timeout by Coach Weatherman. Wants to talk about it. Russell back with the possession, and Minneapolis still in control of this ball game with a nine point lead. I didn't give the turnover, 17 turnovers in the first half by the Lady Broncos, 11 for the Minneapolis Lady Lions. That's amazing. Now in the backcourt, Walker has it. Almost has her pocket picked by Kylie Gregg. Now they're interpressed to Schulte, Bigley down low, no good. She gets it right back, though, and the stick back is good. They'll do some damage on all the offensive glass. We're going to have to box out, get some position. Now Baker, that should have been a jump ball, probably. She went up, up and back down. It's a solid but block. But it went off Russell. It will be Minneapolis ball. <laughs> All goes into Greg and Top. That's the disadvantage of sitting on the same side. It's always entertaining being around Russell. <laughs> it is entertaining because I used to be a referee. It's just hilarious. <laughs> anyway, Minneapolis trying to crack this 2-3 zone. That ball is tipped out of there by Schulte. Now they have numbers. Walker has it, but Baker comes for help. Tips it out of bounds. It will stay with Russell as Bigley will play it in. All of a sudden, it's a seven-point lead. Out front, it goes to Schulte, or Rourke. Entry pass to Bigley, she loses it. Picked up by Baker. Bigley lost control of it, going down the lane. We sure could use a basket here, or a three-pointer by Steinbrock. It's good. Oh, nice job by Allie Steinbrock. That has been a blessing that we've gotten over the last few games with some key threes by Allie Steinbrock, and you don't see your post player spotting up as she's a great shooter, has a great touch. Yes, sir. He creates a matchup problem because that... That'll be an over the back, Steinbrock. Yep. Yes. Allie Steinbrock got tangled up there and has whistled with the... Foul over the back of Rourke. And it will be Russell Ball to play in. Wise to play it in. Gets it off to Rourke. 
Out front to Schulte, looks for a cutter, and it's intercepted off the hand of Walker, and Greg right there for the interception. 10-point lead, AC off the page. When that takes their post out there, it creates a little bit of a problem. There's a nice block there by Wise. Ball goes out of bounds. It Take will stay with Minneapolis. She can jump. She's got a good, she's a good athlete. She's playing with four fouls. It's pretty amazing. And to be that aggressive yes. on that end of the ball. So. Skip pass to Page. Three-pointer on its way. It is good. Boy, we've hit two three-pointers. Now Baker with the interception. Right out front to Greg. Almost had Page on the backside, but Kylie smartly does not risk that pass. Baker on the right wing now. Off to Page. She just hit a three from the corner. Macy has it. Now Steinbrock, shot, good. Allie Steinbrock from the left elbow. 34-19, Lady Lions with the lead. This time to throw over top to Walker. There's a and foul. And the push by Steinbrock on Schulte. It will be Minneapolis' second team foul. Steinbrock's second personal foul. Greg will get a breather. And J.C. Crossen back in the contest. Pass on the back side to Walker. AC with a good defense. Bigley back out front it goes. And her shot is stuffed by Crossan as Walker went up for a shot. J.C. Crossan. Nice block by J.C. right there, Mike. Weiss to play it in for the Lady Broncos. That ball's tipped by Crossan. Shot no good. And Crossan has the rebound. And I think that's Walker with the yep. Three Reach on in Walker. Foul. Four on Walker. Four, that's yeah. who it is. That's who it is. 24. Good night. Walker has four and Wise has, has four. four. It's not good night yet, but it's pretty close for her. <laughs> Crossan gets it off to Steinbrock. Rourke right out on her now. Baker Ooh. gets it off to Page. Dribble drive all the way in, layup, good. They're gonna count it. They are gonna count it. Nice job by Kelsey Page, takes it right to the hole. They're gonna count the basket. Who's on? Schulte. That'll be her third personal foul. They are in big foul trouble. Otherwise known as deep doo-doo. Page, free throw, no good. Oh, and Steinbrock wow. out, hustles her for it, <laughs> kicks it out of bounds. <laughs> she loses it. Oh. had to get a smile oh, on her face. Oh, that was tough one. Great hustle by Allie right there, and then she loses it out of bounds. But great hustle by Allie. Checking in, I didn't see who that is, 23. And that is Chantel Prester. That's first time in for her, yeah, I believe. Is. That pass is almost intercepted. Macy had a hand on it. That's a walk. We didn't drag that pivot foot for her. Fans, she did uh, it herself. She, yeah, she was dribbling into one on three. She should have saw it and stopped sooner than she did. Crossing to play it in. Turnover, Russell, and the turnover bugaboo is still plaguing the Lady Broncos. Nice pass by Macy, but Crossing can't finish at the basket with the left hand. Nice dump down as Ashland broke down the defense. Walker, left wing. Out front, Schulte. Looks for Rourke down low. Has her on the baseline now. Backdoor cut was there, but Ashlyn Macy tipped it. It goes off the referee, and he is in play. If he is in play, that should have been out of bounds, and they should have played it in right yeah, they here. Should have. It should have been Russell's ball right there. Um, You're exactly right. Drag right back in. Baker will get a breather. Emma Childs also checks in for Allie Steinbrock. 36-19 Minneapolis. 
leading this contest. Uh, Russell made a little run at the start of the second half. Minneapolis Actually, has yeah. just put the hammer down. 4-0 run. Oh. Emma Giles on the right wing. Dribble drive out front. Page looks things over. Now Greg pops out for the pass. Down the lane she goes. Jump shot. In and out. No good. Oh, Ashlyn Macy nearly comes up with the... Uh, with the ball. Presser nice in the backcourt, picks up her dribble, gets it off to Walker, 2.52 left, third quarter. Down low, nice Schulte. And the hold by Emma Giles, I believe. Yep. Yes. That's Emma's second personal foul. And they'll play it in. Minneapolis third team foul, Bigley with the ball. Out to Schulte. Back to Walker. Bigley baseline drive. She walked with it. Yep, hold her pivot right there. Uh, Kelsey Page holds her ground down there, and she pulls that pivot foot. There's no arguing about that one. No. Kelsey smart not to reach in as Bigley off balance. And the turnover gives the ball right back to Minneapolis. Greg, left wing, shot way off the glass, no good. And Crossman will out hustle everyone for that loose ball. Greg has it out front. Triple it, there you go. Oh. Emma Giles off to Macy. Down the lane, Macy goes. Dump down pass to Crossman. Back out to Page. Greg. Shot, and no good. Now Walker has it, and Page lets her go, misses the layup. And nice. Emma Giles claims that loose ball, gets it off to Macy. We have numbers. Five on four, Greg crossing down to Giles. Helper she cannot shoot it as Rourke, the 5'10 junior, is on her. Oh, nice block down there. And we got a foul, loose ball foul, I believe, on Crossan. I think so. it's on Page. Nope, he's looking at Crossan's jersey real hard, and it is. J.C. Crossan's second personal foul. So that's the foul I saw. It's the foul I saw. When Page slapped her hands, <laughs> I thought maybe she thought she was called with the reach in. Down low it goes. Rourke has the easy shot, and it's up and in. 36-21, minute 14 left here in the third quarter. Lady Lions with the lead. Emma Giles on the right wing. Gets it off to Crossan. Now Page, three-pointer on its way, rimming off. Macy has it for a second. Her shot is blocked by Bigley. And it's going to be white ball. Minneapolis ball to play in, tipped out there by Bigley. Oh, that'd she been did a... not complain about that, so evidently she was the last to touch. Crossing out to Macy, 2-3 zone. Page has an open look. Good. I thought it looked like it was going to be a little bit too strong in back ram, but the arch that uh, Kelsey puts on that ball was just perfect enough for it to drop in. Three-point shot is good. Oh, Prester hustles all the way down. Nice job by Prester. Takes it all the way to the hole, and she gets the bucket. Nice job by Prester. Pretty quick with the basketball. Took it coast to coast. You know, they are quick, Mike. Uh, they have quickly gotten to the rack a couple times. 17 to shoot here. Crossing with the ball. Gets it off to Greg. 10 seconds left in this third quarter. Giles has it. Gets it off to Macy. She walks with it. 16 point lead with 4.7 seconds left in the contest. Now we need, you bet, get up there and let's put a little pressure on them. Somebody needs to guard number way over the top. Walker shot. No good. Greg cleans up on the board. She has a shot. Three quarter court. And that's the way the third quarter ends. Minneapolis with a 16-point lead.
39-23. We'll be back with the final stanza of this game as the Lady Lions are putting a thumping on the Lady Broncos. We'll be right back. City Pharmacy has brought you quality professional pharmaceuticals since 1963. Joe and Amber Wool will help you with your medications, durable medical equipment, cosmetics, gifts, and greeting cards. Your hometown pharmacy, City Pharmacy in downtown Minneapolis. The Minneapolis Junior Senior High School linebackers are proud to continue their long-term support of the broadcast of the Lions games. Join them as they support student activities and the teachers of MJSHS. Go Lions! We're with you all the way. Well, guys, one reason we're ahead by 16 points is the Lions have scored double figures <coughs> all three quarters. Yep. The Broncos have, single not, digits. have been in single digits all three quarters. Yeah. 10, 16, and 13 compared to their 6, 9, and 8. So, uh, nice job with the Lady Lions. That'll do it. Yeah. The defense will do it. And, uh, the ladies have tightened it up. On the floor for Minneapolis will be Alex Donbrock, Chasey Crossan, Kyla Gregg, Baker, as well as Macy. Walker plays it in, Prester in the backcourt. Guarded by Baker, man-to-man -man defense by Minneapolis. Down low it goes, it's tipped, but Rourke has it, her shot is over no good, but Crossan gets right in there. I think it'll be over the back on Crossan. Looked at Baker though, yep, Crossan. That will be JC's third personal foul. Minneapolis fifth team foul. Long shot from the corner, no good. And Macy quick to the ball as Walker's shot comes right back to her, front rimmed it. Macy all the way in, layup, no good. And an outlet pass is intercepted. And we reset the offense. Nice job, ladies, right handy on the spot. As Rourke lost her balance and the ball, it gives it right back to Minneapolis. Crossing, guarded by Bigley. Baker with it. Steinbrock. That'd be nice to run a minute, minute and a half off the clock here, wouldn't it? Baker's shot stuffed by Bigley, and now they have numbers. Walker gets it off to. Wise on the left wing, her shot is up and in. The rest of the last game on number 15, Wise. Macy clears the timeline, gets it off to Crossan. They're behind 14 points. They're going to have to put the pressure on. Craig. Now Baker. Craig looking inside. Steinrock was there. Now Crossan down low to Steinbrock. Can't handle it. Baker ends up with it shot over the rim, no good. And Wise has the rebound. Prester guarded by Baker. You know, for Prester just not playing in the first half, she's a pretty good little ball handler. Bigley so. gets it off to Rourke. Down low it goes. Rourke shot. She's hacked. It's either Greg or Steinbrook. I'd say Steinbrock. It is. Uh, Allie Steinbrock, that's his, her third. Sixth Minneapolis team sixth. foul. Yeah. Three for the Broncos. Rourke with a two-shot foul here, <laughs> rimming off. Schulte back in, 5'9", freshman. As well as Kelsey Page checks in for Baker. Six minutes left in this contest. Rourke's second shot is good. Macy thought maybe they're going to double team, but uh, Walker cannot handle Macy coming up the court. Ashland breaks the timeline. Crossan walks with the ball. And we've had probably four of those tonight. Full timeout called by Coach Weatherman. We will take one with them as Lee Lyons had the lead, 39 to 26, 551 left you on the ball game, and Russell will have the ball. You're listening to 910KNA.com as well as Eagle Communications Channel 2. 
Solana Spring and Axle, specializing in all your suspension, alignment, and brake needs for over 50 years. Located at 672 South Broadway, just north of Crawford Street in Salina. John Mackey College Salina is proud to support our regional high school sports. Join us this year in cheering on the Minneapolis Lions, the Solomon Gorillas, and the Ellsworth Bearcats. Welcome back to Minneapolis. 39-26, 5.51 left to go in the ball game. Lady Lions with the lead. Broncos have the ball, Mike. Well, Minneapolis keeping them uh, about an arm's length away. Russell trying to get back in this game, but Minneapolis still with good pressure defense, but unable to do anything on the offensive end. Last two possessions down there with a block shot and a turnover. Now Walker all the way in gets it to Bigley. Key is to make them run clock. Down to Wise, nice. baseline shot, no good. Gets her own rebound, and she is pushed. By Greg. Greg, yep. And Seventh she's going to be foul. shooting free yeah, throws one one. here yeah. as we're over the limit with seven team fouls. And Wise broke the free throw line for a one and one. That's Greg's second personal foul. Wise was perfect from the line in the first half. She hits the front end of the one and one. 39 27, 12 point lead. Three for three. Let's see if we can jinx her on this one. And we can't. Now the full court pressure. Greg has the ball on the right side, being guarded by Wise. Behind the back dribble, between the legs dribble. Greg, uh, Kelsey. Page and the reach in foul by Schulte as the first quick step of Page. We have what? They have four fouls. Four, four player or three players three with players. four personal fouls. I'm, I'm shocked nobody's fouled out yet. <laughs> Schulte, Wise, and Walker all with four. Macy on the right wing. Let's run it a little bit more, ladies. Let's get her under five. Entry pass to Steinbrock, up and under, shot no good. Nice, Ball's oh. tipped out, and yeah. she runs over the top of yeah, Schulte. Allie, Allie's gonna get her fourth right there. That's a tough one right there. She, That's gonna put Schulte at the free throw line, which is even worse. Yeah. Not good. Schulte at the line to shoot. One and one. First throw on its way. No good. Back rim, and that ball's tipped out of there. And Steinbrock has the long carom for Minneapolis. Lady Lines yet to score here in the fourth quarter, Mike. We could use a bucket here at the 453 mark. And we throw it away, but the reach in foul by Rourke bails us out. Foul number 21, Rourke. That's her second. Oh, her second foul. That's uh, kind of interesting. <laughs> Page will play it in. Not too many have two, do they? No, they don't. Steinbrock with the ball. Out front it goes to Macy. Skip pass to Page. She's wide open. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it went in. Oh, the it, man. <laughs> Once it goes to the top yeah. of the backboard, it's out of bounds, and I think it even <laughs> hit the pipe, but it yeah, came it back down. It came back through. down and went in, but unfortunately it doesn't count. So. Wise gets it back to Bigley. Ooh, yep. didn't have control. Didn't have control. She did not have both feet in the no. forecourt, and she was still actually possessed in the backcourt, and the ball was in the forecourt, so it is a good call, in my opinion. You've got to have a foot touch. Two feet. Two feet. Two feet, Two feet is okay. a possession. So, and she had neither feet. Both feet were in the air when I believe she you're right, made yeah. contact with that ball. Even though she jumped and she was clear on uh, quite a ways in on it. Of course, we're biased right. on the Minneapolis yeah. side. <laughs> Why, absolutely. I'm glad to hear that disclaimer. They steal it. Walker has it. She's going all the way to the right. Crossing's going to get her money's enough. 
I thought JC might give her a run for her money, but. Well, 16 point lead has evaporated to single digits. Yeah, no, we've got to find a way to get some scoring. There we go there right we go. there. And the foul, nice job there as Lady Lyons. And that, if that's on Schulte, that's her fifth. Ashlyn Macy breaks down the defense, and oh, the nice sweet pass down low to Steinbrock. Shot is up and in. It's Rourke's third personal foul. And she'll get the and one, and all of a sudden, Minneapolis gets it right back to an 11 point lead. Steinbrock's free throw is a little bit hard off the back rim, no good. And Rourke has the rebound. Under four minutes in this contest. Bigley in the lane, shot, no good. Kelsey Page gonna be called with the foul. Bigley pretty good at drawing the foul and she did right there as Page is whistled with her third foul. Bigley will get two shots here. First throw is rimming in. Forty-one, thirty-one. Bigley's second throw on its way. It is good also. They have outscored us here big time in the fourth quarter. And oh man. Schulte with the good position. And they said she was set as Paige just runs right over the top of her. You don't want to take a chance on that, and that was not a good move there. 41-32, nine-point lead for the Lady Lions, and uh, they are clawing their way back in this as the Russell Broncos trail by nine. 41-32, Lady Lions have the lead. We've got 3.44 left. We'll take a full timeout. You're listening to 910kna.com, as well as Eagle Communications Channel 2. Bennett Autoplex supports the Minneapolis Lions. At Bennett Autoplex Salina, you'll find a small town family atmosphere with great prices on new and used cars, new GMC trucks and SUVs. Serving their customers since 1957, Bennett Autoplex Salina. Where do you go when you need groceries? Jeans IGA, of course. Jeans is proud to be a sponsor of Minneapolis Sports in hopes that you'll encourage your children to be as competitive in the classroom as they are in sports. Jeans IGA, a proud sponsor of today's game. Welcome back to Minneapolis. 9-2 run for the Broncos. What's interesting, five points from the free throw line, and they will be in the double bonus from this point out as we've got our 10th team foul. Uh, uh, the board says nine, but I've got them for 10. As Minneapolis now has Allie Steinbach and Kelsey Page with four fouls. Uh, they, they've, got, uh, they've got four, three players themselves and two with three, but uh, right now they're playing smarter. Uh, and They've got a little momentum going. Well, and you can play uh, two girls for most of the second half with four personal fouls under control. You've got something there. Minneapolis has gone to his own, trying to slow down this Russell team. And Greg collects that long shot that Walker took off the front of the rim. And we're going to try and run a little clock here. Crossing gets it off to Steinbrock. Macy now crossing on the baseline. Almost a walk. Drag with it. Watch those lazy passes. Yes. A few of those the other night, Coach Weatherman didn't care for too well. Took three timeouts in a row to talk about it. 2.50 left. Good job, Minneapolis. Lady Lions run some clock here. I'm get surprised this under two minutes. that they are not coming out on them. Well, they're out well, on they're them, out I think they will fouls. start fouling about when there's about two minutes left and start putting us at the free throw line. They're uh, hoping for just that right there. Macy saves, almost saves it. Now Schulte all the way in, shots blocked by Cross. And over the back is Beagley, and that's four on Beagley. What a play by J.C. Crossing to block that shot cleanly. And you're right, Bigley has four. And we're shooting free throws. Craig to the free throw line for a one and one. Craig at the line. 
line here. You're right, Scott. I kind of, my thoughts went to the boys game. <laughs> Free throw, good. Nice Kylie shot. Gregg Kylie. gets the front end of that one and one. How big is that? <laughs> 10 point ball game all of a sudden. It's pretty big. Get back up. 224 left in the contest. Second one, not as kind. It goes off the back rim, no good. Rourke has it, guarded by Steinbrock. Man-to-man -man defense by Minneapolis now. Bigley with the ball. Crossing has her. Oh, that's oh, yep. She was going to make the pass. Greg with the good overplay and the good defense on Wise, and she picked it and put her right back down on the floor I, again. I'm really surprised that they haven't put in somebody to foul. Like Prester and some of the, yeah. and Patacek, those real quick, quick girls. They're going to have to have some quickness to stay with Minneapolis. Because they've got about everybody out there has got four fouls, with the exception of Rourke. And Rourke's got three. Three. There's a layup. Page all the way in, misses it. Rourke has the rebound. Picks up her dribble. And that was backcourt, too. Yes, it was. She planted, she, she planted one foot on each side. Well, her possession the was in the, the front court. That's it right. doesn't matter. Her possession was in the front court, and then when she caught it in the back court, it is back court. That's a good call. It's a tough one. It's real tough, especially on the fans. And we get it right back. Another turnover, and my gosh, Russell is a bushel basket full of them here tonight. Oh, wow, nice pass down low. And there will be number five. Oh, it's a, that's the one person, that can, get, the one person <laughs> that can get her four fouls. Oh, my goodness. Five, Every five one players on the yeah. floor right now with four fouls apiece. <laughs> How often do you see you that? You don't see that very often. You don't see that very wow. often. I don't think I've ever seen it. Baker's free throw rimming in. You can go start the bus. Well. Free throw, good. Baker gets them both. I think they're running the diesel, so there's been, there's been on ever since they got here. <laughs> <laughs> well, there they send in Prester, and they've got to put her in. Prester comes in for. Uh, you bet. Uh, for Walker. They're going to have to push it now. A minute 25 left in this contest. You know, I would have switched it to the defensive side, but. Uh, they lose it. Goes right through the hands of Rourke. Now Page has it. And Prester can't foul her. I think Prester should have fouled right there. Now they don't want to waste any time. Prester's the only one that's got a foul to give. And that's five on Kelly Rourke. She will end her night. These girls just had a little tough luck. And they're not as quick put it as Minneapolis is. Had a heck of a time keeping up with us, and you could tell by the defense when they started reaching in the silly fouls. Crossing at the free throw line front rim. As Baker. Or excuse me, Baker. Now the rebound, the stick back, Crossing working hard. Baker has it. Incredible. <laughs> Schulte wow, has it. Wow, that was pretty amazing. Schulte with the arms and the length just took that ball away. Now Page with good defense over there tips that ball away from Nuss. Steinbrock will check in for Baker. And Emma Giles checks in as well for Crossing. 47 seconds left. Wise to play it in bigly. I Schulte baseline dri drive. She gets her own rebound. Stick back, no good. Nice. Big yeah, that's a nice try by uh, Schulte there. Boy, she had two of them point blank and missed them both. We get it in. Greg comes to help on the back side, clears the timeline now, the double team. Nuss with a good defense and the foul. Excuse me, that's Prester. It'll put Greg at the free throw line for a two shot foul. All of a sudden, Russell over the limit. Minneapolis in the double bonus. 
Leading by 12, 33 seconds left in this contest. Free throw, no good. Well, the Lady Lions are going to prevent the Russell Broncos from being sole NCAA champions. They yeah. have to share it with either Southeast Saline or Republican. What's interesting about that is I was talking to uh, free throw, good. Mike McKenna, uh, and he was saying that they have never won. Uh, this was this would have been their first time to win the league championship since really like all those good teams they had in the late 90s and early 2000s. Yep. yep, he said they shared it once before, but okay. 1970 was like the last time. Wow, so. pressure on the move. Russell needs to shoot quickly, and Bigley does. Three pointer, no good. Ball is tipped out of there, picked up by Baker. That should do it. 20 seconds left. Prester and Nuss over there, or Bigley. The entry pass is tipped out of there by Nuss. And Page has it way out on top. Off to Macy. That's going to be the ball game. Minneapolis Lady Lions victorious. 45-32. What a game against the number one Clear at the top, Russell Lady Broncos leading the league at nine and two. Mercy has big ball game for these ladies. They have had games like this. They took out Beloit the other night, but had a tough one against the Republic County Lady Buffs. I tell you, we held them scoreless the last four minutes, guys. Yeah. So nice job in the Lady Lions to come away with a 13 point victory tonight. Uh, the Lady Lions will either be tied for second with either Southeast or Republic County. And Russell is the co-league champion with either Republic County or Southeast Saline, depending on how that game comes out tonight. Well, we beat them out there by two and we beat them here by 12. Uh, we held serve on our own court and that's what you have to do. Minneapolis Lady Lions with a big win here against the Russell Lady Broncos. We'll be back with some stats and comments from Dale and I think he's gonna do some comments right now. Yeah, before we get there, for all those listening, the Lady Lions will play the Phillipsburg Lady Panthers. Uh, not official till three o'clock tomorrow afternoon. But right now we're a solid number four seed and they're I, a solid I, I, number I, I, five seed. Well, Dale, you said three o'clock tomorrow afternoon. That's when the announcements come out. Okay. Uh, we will play next Monday, presumably at 7 p.m. unless arrangements are made for an earlier time. Phillipsburg will be coming from quite a distance. So. <laughs> uh, but, uh, at least seven o'clock will be listening and uh, I'm sure it'll be published in the paper, maybe on radio either a six or seven o'clock start, probably seven unless the other arrangements are made. They're gonna recognize senior night here, Dale, uh, Dale and Mike. Is, oh yeah, I forgot about that. Is, uh, they've got both squads down there. So uh, um, I wanna, do you wanna keep it here and I'll keep, yeah. give some stats? Uh, well, I, I Mike, gotta gonna let you talk. guys know that uh, this is the weekend that we head to uh, the Northland, and we're going to go visit oh. my uh, my grandson. Uh, there's a baby dedication on Sunday in their church. Congratulations! And we're going to go uh, watch that. But I've taken a vacation day on Monday, so if it's earlier than seven o'clock, I probably won't make it. <laughs> That's a long trip. Yes, it is. Well, and at, uh, as early as it would be six o'clock, I'm sure. But uh, uh, you you two gents have done it before. You're going to probably be on your own. Boy, we've got our senior night and we have some well we have some, some great seniors out there uh, this is a this is heck of a good class FFA and, uh, and uh, basketball and they're still and coming dance out. team cheerleaders we are going to lose quite a few seniors here this is a big class you guys uh, talk Cameron Walker the first one recognized you guys want to announce these or I'll give you some stats here in just a second let me add a few more things up real quick 
Well, let's, uh, as we can hear the PA system announce the seniors, uh, Cameron Walker, Cassie Smith, uh, the Ham brothers are next, Cody Ham. But uh, Dale, you say uh, we it's a four or five seed matchup with the girls on Monday then with Phillipsburg as they travel here, is that correct? Yes, we're a solid four, they're a solid five. It can't change, there's too many differences in games between us. So. And you, you two guys know as well as I do, sometimes that four or five seed matchup is sometimes a heck of a ball game. So we need the support of this community out here Monday they've and got Tuesday. Some, they've got some good athletes. We've seen them play in volleyball. Uh, but Austin Jensen. I'm hoping we're a better basketball team. Austin Jensen is the son of Doug and Becky Jensen. I'll run through some scoring real quick here for the Russell Lady Broncos. Chantel Preston with two points. Uh, Jane Schulte with four points. Caitlin Walker with five. Peyton Wise with six. Uh, Madison Beagley with six. And Kelly Rourke with nine. Did you hear that? Madison Beagley with six. She struck us for 19 last time. We didn't have an answer for her, but we did tonight. Nice job by the Lady Lions for, uh, on the defensive side. For, for Minneapolis, uh, Ashlyn Macy with four points. Kylie Gregg with four points. Six points by uh, Riley Baker. Seven points by Jason Crossan. 12 points by Kelsey Page. And 12 points by Allie Steinbrock. Nice balance scoring. Nice for Lady balance. Lions tonight. Coach Weatherman has got to be happy with that kind of balance. You don't have a girl with 19 or 20, and then everyone else has two or four. But boy, when you got two or three kids with uh, 10, 12 points uh, and it's spread out, uh, a lot of girls did some good scoring here tonight. Yeah. Scott, why don't you go ahead and sign off? Okay. And call Scott, let him know we'll be back on, and we'll cook, get coach on the rebound. Looks to me like Dylan has one more inch to grow. Yep. That's <laughs> what he does it between now and Substate. Yeah, <laughs> we need it before Substate. <laughs> well, we will uh, sign off. Folks, if you're listening on the internet, don't forget you need to log back on and uh, log back on to uh, Minneapolis. And we'll be back here in about five minutes. We'll be back. Scotty, Scott Osherman. Hey, uh, can you log us off and we'll log back on here in a couple minutes? Okay, thank you, sir. Welcome back to Minneapolis, Kansas, as we are in the middle of senior night here. As they introduce all the seniors from FFA down to basketball, 
uh, cheerleading, boys and girls basketball, and a ton of seniors for both squad, uh, for the boys especially. A lot of FFA seniors. Nice job by all these young ladies and men that have uh, just uh, served Minneapolis High School very well, Dale. Yes, they have. As we continue to let them uh, go through on the, uh, the cheerleaders now. Caitlin plans to attend Garden City Community College and study to become a substance abuse psychologist. That's a mouthful. Yeah, and well needed. Thank yeah. you, seniors, for your service to Minneapolis High School. And Ms. Congratulations to all of our seniors as they announce both the men and the ladies seniors for this uh, school. Nice job, both men and, and ladies.